Hey guys, and welcome to I Want My Angst TV Reviews. I'm Sarah, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the Peacock and BBC original, Everything I Know About Love. Everything I Know About Love is based on the memoir by Dolly Alderton, who is actually someone I did not know anything about until this series. Dolly is a British journalist. She's an author and a podcaster. She's a columnist for the Sunday Times. And this memoir won her a National Book Award in 2018. She was even featured in Forbes 30 Under 30 in 2018. If this memoir reads anything like the way this series watches, like I need to read it. Because the character of Maggie, I find wildly fascinating. So let me back up a little bit and give you a little synopsis of what this show is about. In Everything I Know About Love, we meet four roommates, two of which are best friends. We have Maggie and Bertie. They've known each other since grade school. They've been best friends their whole lives. And then we meet Amara and Nell, who are two girls that Maggie and Bertie met in uni. University. <laughs> For us Americans out there. The girls have graduated college, moved into their own flat in London, and are kind of learning even more about themselves, about their friendship, and about love. I just got a boyfriend. Nothing will change, Maggie. That's the only thing people say when everything's changing. You have always been my most important person. Friendship doesn't always get looked at as a relationship, and it very much is. It might not be sexual, but it is personal and it is emotional. And watching Bertie and Maggie navigate the struggles of their friendship that runs deep and has been there for such a long time, I found really relatable and something that people need to see. Because as relationships change, as we grow together and grow apart as friends, you don't really see that represented in TV shows or movies. And I think that this series does such a good job of navigating such a very sensitive subject for a lot of people. Everyone I know has got so old and unfun. Hi! And I'm like, sorry, I want to live before I die. Maggie's character is tumultuous in a multitude of levels. She has a loving family, she has supportive parents, and yet she still lives a life that she likes to implode and destroy, whether it's through drugs, through alcohol, or relationships. But Maggie does go on such an incredible random journey that I am very curious to see what of this is true and what of this is fictionalized in the story. Because if this is her life, that's just wild to me. Also, I am madly in love with Street. I will be taking no questions. Hi. So, Why do you have so many tiny towels? They're not tiny towels, they're face cloths. For the entire series, the Maggie Birdie friendship is the crux of the entire thing, which is something that I enjoy, but also something that I'm like, well, then why introduce Samara and Nell? Because then these other two women are looked at very much as side characters and their storylines are just kind of meh. They're just kind of there. And I don't know what it is about just giving random characters dance storylines. This seems to have been a trend. And I'm sorry if this is actual factual, since this is based on a memoir and based on events. But it just seems to be really funny when people are like, well, we have this other character. We're going to make her a dancer. And I'm like, why are we making her a dancer? And we're going to make her a dancer. Shame, oh, kick shame, remember that? The one part of Nell's storyline that I actually really did enjoy was the one with her boyfriend. They've also been together a very long time. They're very much in a rut and they don't really know how to progress forward without really just falling back. Their relationship feels much more like a roommate situation than a boyfriend situation. And so seeing, having the character of Nell make the strong choice and the hard choice in the series, it's also something I really appreciated for her character and the storylines. But again, once the storyline with the trouble in paradise for her ends, they don't really know what to do with her either. I do hope that everything I know about love gets a season two. The way the series ends, it very much could end 
but I don't want it to because I want to see where these characters go. I want to see how they continue to grow and move forward and work through the hard stuff that we don't always give ourselves a chance to do. Also, I have to say, if that was my life and what happens in the final episode of season one, I don't know if I would have gone home. You're the romance. You make everything magic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Sarah. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, comment, thumbs up this video, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any more angsty videos.